What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video guys, we're gonna be going over tips and tricks Tips on how to snipe better in a crucible for those of you out there trying to get the revoker This is your ultimate guide on Getting the revoker so getting into it guys I'm gonna be promoting three other videos along with this video you're watching now the other three you'll see them on screen now one is geared towards controller users. If you use controller, if you play on Xbox, you play on PS4, go check that one out. Really good video, guys. It teaches you basics and ultimately a little bit of advance. Now, the next one is going to be for mouse and keyboard players. Right there at the top right. Check it out. And the third one, that one right there is ultimately just for mouse, keyboard players, and controller users on maining the sniper in the crucible. Ultimately, keep in mind that anything I say in this video trumps all those other videos. Because this is more of your updated video. But check them out, guys. Nonetheless, you'll like those videos. But getting into it, guys. Let's talk about the quest first. The Revoker. So what is necessary to obtain the Revoker? You're looking at 300 final blows with the sniper rifle. 50 precision final blows. And 3,500 total score in comp. I will tell you right now that the easiest thing you're going to be doing, guys, is obtaining those comp uh, points. Now, for those of you who are struggling struggling to snipe i recommend saying the quick play if you this is your first time sniping maybe you're new to the fps genre or maybe you're just not used to sniping in destiny 2 stick to quick play now if you are a seasoned sniper and you're just outright slayer go into comp and kill two birds with one stone so the first thing we're going to get into guys is going to be scavenger perks scavenger reserve spec in your armor to where you can get more ammo for your sniper rifle now i'm gonna break down both for you because we see it on our armor all the time sniper rifle scavenger sniper rifle reserves some people know what they do some people don't know what they do and i'm gonna tell you exactly right now if you are going to be in the uh saying in quick play you want to have as much ammunition as possible with that right there keep in mind every box of ammo you pick up with scavenger perks will allow you to get one extra shot so if you have two sniper rifle scavenger perks every box you pick up will have three shots if you have one sniper rifle scavenger perk you will only get two shots so the more scavenger perks the better for scavenging ammo That's what the perks call for if you are going into comp there is a chance you could be playing game modes like countdown and survival and with sniper rifle reserves what does this do so say you're running scavenger perks and you also have two sniper rifle reserves perks and your team completely destroys the other team. You're in comp, you play in survival, and you don't die. You have eight shots in your sniper. Sniper rifle reserves kicks in. And this will allow you to keep all your ammunition. So you will spawn into the next round with eight shots. And that's what how sniper rifle reserves work. So if you're going into quick play, remember, keep in mind, scavenger perks. The more ammunition, the better. If you're going into comp, sniper rifle scavenger perks and sniper rifle reserves. So the next one guys we're going to be going into sniper rifle options what am i going to suggest here i'm going to be suggesting two sniper rifles that can be easily obtained through the uh menagerie activity number one guys is going to be the beloved sniper rifle this is a great option and it's super easy to obtain unlock your chalice and your next thing you want to run is a rune of jubilation on the top on the left side you're going to run a red rune boom you got yourself a beloved sniper rifle good luck on your rolls i can ultimately say just keep rolling for some perks you want Later in this video, we're going to talk about sniper rifle perks that you should be aiming for. The second sniper rifle that's super easy to obtain, you can do it from, you can get it from doing Dreaming City Bounties, or you can ultimately get it from the Menagerie as well too. It requires a Rune of Jubilation on the top and a uh, Purple Rune on the left side. Super easy to get. So why am I suggesting the Twilight Oath? Why am I suggesting the Beloved Sniper Rifle? Well, one is that their sights are very low zoom. And like I tell people, a lower zoom sight is kind of like if you it feels like you're using a scout rifle and uh it's number two guys it's gonna have very high aim assist so for my mouse and keyboard players a higher aim assist sniper is going to ultimately lead to bigger hitboxes my controller users the same thing you'll have it just a tad bit hit bigger hitbox and for my controller users when you have higher aim assist the reticle is just a tad bit stickier on your enemy so keep that in mind right there so those are just two sniper rifles you can get now Two other sniper rifles I'm going to recommend, and these these are more of your cheap sniper rifles. Say you're struggling just to hit those 300 kills. You're like, brave, oh my gosh, I'm pulling my hair out, man. I can't do this, bro. I can't. I just can't get kills. And then ultimately, I'm going to re recommend two. So number one, guys, is going to be Economics Burden. If you have spec your armor up properly and you are picking up a lot of ammunition, what you need to be doing with Economics Burden is you need to be consuming ammo and body shotting people. This will allow you to hit your 300 kills just a tad bit faster. Now for my PvE masters out there, you went out there, you grinded Tatara's Gaze over and over and over, and you got the kill clip version. 
Tatara's gaze with kill clip. This is a cheese one right here, guys. If you kill somebody, you shoot them in the little toe and he dies, and you have ammunition to reload, you reload. At that very moment, you can body shot people for days. So keep that in mind, guys. Two cheese snipers right there. Iganami's burden, Tatara's gaze. I probably said that one wrong. Iganami's burden, whatever. Keep that in mind. Two cheese snipers. So, guys, which snipers am I recommending? Beloved sniper rifle, Menagerie. Twilight Oath, Menagerie. Or you want to just cheese it with, you know, freaking Iganami's Burden or Tatar's Gaze. Doesn't really matter. A lot of sniper rifles out there. And this video can be accomplished. You can get your Revoker any way you want. So, getting into the next thing, guys. Learning the basics of sniping. We're going to go over some tips. So, tip number one you want to be utilizing is going to be understanding lanes. A lane is going to be a sniper rifle's best friend. Why? Because enemies utilize lanes to traverse the map. So what does a lane do? It is pretty much your beacon of this is where I should be aiming because people will be running down this lane to get to one point to another point of map. What is a lane? Ultimately, a lane, guys, is pretty much any long corridor, any long hallway that you can utilize to aim down the sights. I'm not telling you the hard scope, but hey, sometimes you got a hard scope. Nonetheless, guys, understand the lane. Get there first, snipe people. Know a lane, see a lane. Turn a corner, start aiming down sights. That is a lane. People like to shoot down lanes. People like to run down lanes. So that is a lane. If you want a more in-depth guide on lanes and how they're utilized and how they look, go check out the first video. It's the Sniping Bible. That's where I break it down for like 5-10 minutes, but we don't have time for that in this video. The next thing, guys, is going to be where do I aim brave? You want to always be aiming head level. Yes, guardians jump up in the air. Guardians slide around walls, but ultimately... Almost every Guardian runs around this entire map, any Crucible map, at head level. It's rare that you'll see a Guardian out there crab walking around the map. So you always want to aim head level because the head, it's going to be your kill point. So aim head level. Now, the last one, guys, is going to be, before we get into perks, the last one we're going to be going over is use objectives as your beacon on, you know, where to aim. So if you see Bravo flag being capped. You're like, okay, Bravo's getting flipped. I should be on my way there to snipe people off Bravo. Now, don't take the obvious route and jump right in front of Bravo and be like, hey, surprise, guys, I'm going to try to snipe you. No, find a different flank, find a different angle, get a different sight line on Bravo that you're not going to uh, expect you on. Maybe your teammates are engaging. Find a different uh, avenue, and that's where you're going to aim. This is where aiming head level occurs. If you start aiming head level while they're flipping Bravo, you have the ultimate chance of getting a headshot, easy kill, move on. The next thing, if you're playing comp and you will hear your bomb being disarmed, that should be a beacon. I need to start aiming at the bomb already. Get a good avenue, get a good sight line on the map. Okay, this is where I need to aim. When he's defusing a bomb, for the most part, he's gonna be standing up defusing a bomb. Yeah, you have those guardians teabagging and whatnot. For the most part, just aim head level. If you need to correct, then correct. And the last one, guys, use your teammates positioning as an indicator on which lanes will be utilized next. Good old a la spawn predictions i had a whole video on this if you haven't seen it go check it out spawn predictions so if my team and i are heavy on one side of the map we spawned in we push all the way to the other side of the map we wiped them at that very moment you should stop and say i need to stop pushing in with my team this far i need to 180 and start pressing to the other side of the map because this lane right here is going to have people just funneling down this one lane because they want to come kill us so at that moment, flip, go look for that lane, get on that lane before the enemies get there, and now you're going to have easy kills because you're aiming head level. The next one, guys, we're going to be getting into is sniper rifle perks. Now, there's a lot of good options out there. You can use one of the main sniper rifle perks that everybody goes for. It's going to be snapshot and quick draw, which I recommend. If you can get a beloved sniper rifle with snapshot or quick draw, then go out there and get one. Now, another perk that I'm going to be recommending that dropped with Season of Opulence, and you can only acquire it on the beloved sniper rifle, is going to be the no distraction perks. Now, this one right here, no distraction, is going to help you combat flinch. Now, Pairing the no distraction perk, it's great to have that, yes, but you want to, if you're pairing it with other unflinching perks, maybe you have un enhanced uh, unflinching sniper rifle perk, I will tell you right now, if you have that, use it, but that should not take priority over your sniper rifle scavenger. If you have sniper rifle scavenger on one piece of armor and you have unflinching enhanced unflinching on another piece of armor, scavenger should always be priority due to the fact that this will allow you to get more shots, so keep that in mind. Yes, if you have a piece of armor with both, it's a win-win. Use it. The next one, guys, is going to be a low-key sniper rifle perk that I've used. I can vouch for, and it's great. It's going to be opening shot. Now, if you're like me, I usually have a lot of ammo. I get a snipe, and sometimes when I snipe, I'll shade. I'll get another snipe off. So opening shot, what does it do? Your initial shot, your hitbox, your, 
your hitbox is just a tad bit bigger. And for snipers, the head, you want to be able to always aim for the head. With a bigger hitbox, you will be able to get more headshots. I'm promising you right now, guys. You sniper, uh, if you get a sniper rifle with opening shot, you got a twilight with opening shot, use it. Try it out. One of my favorite perks. I'm going to keep using it on my twilight, which is why my twilight has like 2,000 something kills. So the next thing, guys, what mod should I be running with my sniper rifle? Now, there's only one, one mod I'm going to recommend, and which is going to be targeting adjuster targeting adjuster is a great mod to run like i said before more aim assist the better target adjuster does it work on pc for sniper rifles and for mouse and keyboard players targeting adjuster works a little bit and what it's going to do is going to expand your hitbox just a tad bit a bigger hitbox for mouse and keyboard players the best use it so for my final tip and this is my final one right here guys it's going to sound a little cheesy but if you find yourself struggling with a sniper rifle do what I did. Throw yourself into the fire. Not literally, but put yourself at the disadvantage and you will get better. Put on double snipers. Put on triple snipers. Go out there, guys, and put yourself into the lion's den. And I'm telling you right now, utilize these tips. Go watch those other videos I put. I have, a, I have in the description. You will become a better sniper and you will benefit from this. I promise you that. You will slowly become a better sniper if you just put some time into it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more tip videos like this or anything Crucible related, consider subscribing to my channel. Click that bell for those notifications. And if you're looking for live gameplay, I usually stream about two to three times per week at twitch.tv slash bravexhero. Go out there, drop a, uh, a follow. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll catch me when I'm live super late throughout the night during the summer. You guys will enjoy. So other than that, I hope to see you guys there. And ultimately, I hope all of you get your revoker, but most of all, I hope you take something from this video that will help you become a better sniper. And like I said, hopefully you guys become sniper rifle mains. I know it sounds cheesy, Bray wants us to become sniper rifle mains, but no, I really hope for those of you out there, you become sniper rifle mains. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with Bravex Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash BraveXHero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.